The third part of the discussion will focus upon how critiques of Eurocentrism and discussions around decolonizing knowledge travel into or translate into quote unquote uh, non-Western contexts in general, but also Turkey specifically. Uh, I will try to elaborate on this through three axes. The first one being knowledge production. Now, as discussed before, if we uh, approach Eurocentrism as a system of knowledge that is maintained through spatio-temporal hierarchies, and not just as a matter of location, it, it means that uh, a lot of the quote-unquote non-Western contexts also reproduce Eurocentrism, are, are part of that system of knowledge. So the underlying logic being that one of the things that needs to be constantly problematized is how the system of knowledge travels into different contexts and how it becomes reproduced there. One way in which this can be analyzed or problematized is to look at disciplinary knowledge and how disciplinary knowledge gets reproduced. Uh, and organized in different contexts. Uh, a way to further uh, that uh, inquiry would be to look at not only the organization of disciplines, but as was mentioned, also the organization of uh, courses uh, that are being taught, the syllabuses that are, uh, are being given to students, and what kind of narrative of international relations is present in those syllabuses? Who is being read and who's being actually presented as uh, the ones that have uh, the ability to theorize and who are being presented as case studies? And those will tell us something about the, uh, how institutionalized the system of knowledge is and how then we have to sort of problematize it, not only within that constructed space of Europe, but also in different contexts as well. The second aspect related to that is to be mindful of uh, not conflating the critique of Eurocentrism with anti-Westernism. Uh, in a lot of uh, uh, contexts at present, uh, a critique of Western, critique of the West has become part of uh, the foreign policy discourse of uh, a, a lot of nation states. But we have to be careful then in terms of not thinking that that critique of the West uh, equals the critique of Eurocentrism. The critique of the West or anti-Westernism is very much a consequence of the system of knowledge uh, that we have outlined so far, those spatio-temporal hierarchies. So anti-Westernism is not actually uh, a strategy to overcome Eurocentrism, but it's very much rooted in the dynamics and the systems of knowledge and logics that have been produced by Eurocentrism. An example of that is the critique of the Security Council and the five permanent members. Uh, the critique of the five permanent members, as right as it is, uh, in the way it is presented, comes down to uh, a specific nation state's desire to become the sixth member uh, of the uh, Security Council. Right? Uh, and in that logic, it, it, it's not the hierarchies, the spatial temporal hierarchies or the colonial logics that are being criticized. Uh, what is being criticized there is that the specific nation state is not up in the hierarchy themselves. So the hierarchies themselves are not being problematized. It's their, where they are situated in the hierarchies that is being problematized in a lot of the anti-Western discourse. And in that sense, they reproduce that Eurocentric logic. Um, the third aspect to underline is then, uh, with all of these in mind, what does it mean to uh, do, uh, in a sense, what does it mean to bring in, quote unquote, non-Western perspectives into IR? And one thing then to remember is this, uh, uh, relationship between sameness and difference and the construction of authenticity that goes into it. 
in a sense, uh, who gets to speak for that uh, specific quote unquote non-Western subject and what are the hierarchies in society uh, and who gets uh, silenced in that process. Uh, that becomes important. So what exactly is being brought into the analysis of international relations if it is just a matter of adding a non-Western perspective into international relations? Uh, does it really challenge the, hierarchy, uh, the hierarchies that we have discussed uh, and the logics that we have problematized? Or does it work into reproducing them because of a, a reproduction of that sameness difference binary, uh, again, rooted in modernity, tradition, civilized, uncivilized, rational, superstitious. If the constructed authenticity then is to uh, critique in a way that reproduces those binaries, uh, then it means that the critique of Eurocentrism is not there. It is just a critique of uh, uh, the West, but in that sense, in, in how it uh, sort of constructs that relationship, it continues to reproduce it as well. So these three axes, uh, one needs to be mindful of when discussing how uh, the quote unquote non-Western perspectives can be Problem uh, brought in in uh, with respect to the critique of Eurocentrism, but also with respect to uh, decolonizing knowledge.